welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to capture your iPad in OBS and also how to use your iPad as a capture device. Um, and we're going to be using the Elgato Capture app with, app with that. But that'll be at the end of the video. So that being said, let's hop right into it. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be taking a look at how to capture your iPad. This also works with a, with an iPhone, but we're going to do it with the iPad. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, capture it in OBS, so you can if you're using it for mobile games. We'll also show you how to turn this into a second screen uh, and and capture you know like a PlayStation on this, uh, a Nintendo Switch on this if you want, and and we'll be using the, the Elgato Capture app with that at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But that being said, there are a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need e either a, an off-brand audio video uh, capture dongle, something like this. Apple does have one that's like 70 bucks, 80 bucks, but this one is like 20 and it does the same thing. It looks identical. I'll put them on the screen. But yeah, so we're going to need this and we're going to need a capture card. For the for the Elgato stuff at the end, obviously you're going to need an Elgato capture card. Uh, you will need the HD60X, the HD60 Plus. Uh, I'll just I'll just put them up on the screen uh, and show you the ones that you need. Right now, I'm going to be using the HD60X and the 4KX, and then you will also need another <laughs> another capture card. This is going to be a little bit on the convoluted side, uh, but I did a video on this one earlier and and it's a really good capture card and i think i got this one for like 20 bucks also so capture 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 card so that being said i'll put all the links to all of this stuff in the description and in the information box in the bottom of the video so you'll know what you're, what you're looking for anyway now that we've got that out of the way let's 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 get this started okay so here we here we have the ipad and we're going to be hooking this up I said, uh, it, this is the USB-C model of the iPad. So I haven't tested this with the Lightning Cable one, but at this point, I mean, we really just should be, should be using the USB-C. But anyway, uh, you're going to need this dongle. Again, like I said, if I can get it to focus, this is the J5 Create. There you go. And it's almost identical to the one that Apple puts out their audio video adapter. It, it, it has the 100 watt power supply, the HDMI, and then the USB 3.1. It's identical to that one, and it works the same uh, for, you know, a fourth of the price. So budget friendly, and it works the same. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And then we're going to need to plug in the HDMI cable. So we can go out. Doesn't matter your HDMI cable. Uh, ultra speed or whatever the case may be and then you're going to need your capture card. I did a video on this capture card previously. I'm going to flip it upside right. Uh, I'll link that in the description and up in the corner but uh, this one helps you get past like HDCP and stuff like that so we're just going to go ahead and plug this into the input and then we'll, we'll plug it into the computer and we'll hop back over to the computer so I can show you that it's going to uh, start coming through the screen. Okay so here we are at OBS so let's get this started shall we we're going we're going to need to add a video capture device name it whatever you want to name it let's name an ipad okay choose it whatever your capture card is if it's the elgato or if it's some other capture card you'll need to use that pick that and the rest of this stuff you really don't need to worry about we'll just go with the de device default and now we have the ipad now, if we go into full screen, you're going to notice something here. Right click. You've got two full screens you can do. You can do a preview or you can do a source. We're just going to go into the preview, full screen preview. You'll notice you have these block, these black boxes around. Well, if you don't want to see these, you want to, when you're playing on, you know, a bigger screen TV or whatever, you can actually scale these. Uh, you can hold the shift and you can scale this out.
This may take a second to get this right. You can scale that down. And if you're like me, you, you don't like these boxes, you can use the Alt key, hold the Alt, and you, and you can bring these in, and you'll notice that it's working because you'll see those uh, dotted lines. And what we're doing is we're just cropping off all the image that's outside of the box. And then if we right click, we go into full screen projector view and you have your iPad all in your all in the screen. So you can do all of the things on your iPad, like if you wanted to play a game or something like that on there, you got full screen view. It is 1080p or whatever your capture card is limited to. And that dongle, I think, uh, does 4K 30, but it doesn't it doesn't upscale. So let me hop let me grab this iPad really quick. And I'll show you this capture app really quick. So this is the iPad Elgato capture app. And we'll go into the, the store just to show you. App store, obviously search. And we're going to search for Elgato capture. This is Elgato capture. And it's this one right here. right there and, and and when you open it up so when you're using this and we'll get into using this here in just a second you can capture like a computer a PlayStation all all of those things but you have to use the ones that are available for this app like the one that they allow is the HD 60 S plus right here the HD 60X and the H or the 4KX. You can also use the Game Cap Capture Neo, which hasn't been released yet, the Face Cam, the Face Cam M2, the Face Cam Pro, and then the, the original Face Cam. And you can record stuff on your uh, your iPad. So let's uh, let's go ahead and plug the HD 60X in. So we got the HD 60X. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in and I'll show you what it does. So USB-C, you wanna use the one that is supplied for your iPad. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the back. And then remember that little dongle I had? It's got a USB-C on the side. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in right there. And it should see it. There we go. So I don't, uh, I don't have anything plugged into the HD60X yet, but let's, uh, let's look at this. Let's look at this app for a second. So with HD60X, the most you, you can record on your iPad is 720 at 30. If you have the, H, or the 4KX, it's 1080. You can, you can choose audio settings like the iPad microphone, the game capture, or none. At the bottom, if you want it to go full screen, you just hit that. It goes full screen. You have a screenshot. And then you have a record. This is where your snapshot recordings are at. But I'll go ahead and uh, plug the PlayStation into this just to show you that it does work. So let me go ahead and turn my PlayStation on, and I'll go ahead and plug this in. We're going to go ahead and plug this into the in, in port, and as soon as the PlayStation comes on, it will come through. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, hooked up the, the 4KX because the PlayStation was having some issues with... Uh, downscaling and I didn't want to go through that all that process but here it is the PlayStation is going through a capture card on the iPad and you can go full screen if you want obviously we we're, we're, we're blocked out a little bit you have some different options for your uh, 1080 60 1080 30 720 60 720 30 on the app and then you have screenshots that you can take and you can also record if you've got gameplay going on. So just to show you, it is recording at 60 frames a second. Your recordings go into here and your library, obviously. And then snapshots, the same thing. So yeah, there it is. So you can also use this as a secondary screen if you wanted to. Like if you bring in a computer and, and you can use it as a secondary screen on your for, for the iPad. If you hook it up to a PC. So there's that. Okay. So yeah, quick video on how to get the iPad set up for streaming and also how to use it with the 
Elgato Capture app. Have any questions, like always, uh, comment section below, and we'll see you on the next one.